welcome back to my channel. I'm here today with another video and today I'm here to show you my October favorite. Oh, I know it's still not the end of October but we are almost there, right? Just right around the corner. I can already feel the vibes of Halloween around me and I am so excited about that. On the 30th of October I'm heading back to England and I'm just, I'm just so eager to just carve some pumpkins and just, you know, just trick or treat or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, I'm here to talk about my favorite and not about Halloween, <laughs> even though that makes me quite sad. But uh, I'm here to show you my favorites of the month and I'm so excited about them all. So let's just see them all and uh, share because sharing is caring. I like to say that a lot. And I'm going to start with makeup. So one of my favorites of the month is no more, no less than the YSL I'm the Clash Vinyl Couture Mascara. It's really nice, it's really, I don't know, it's 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 couture, you know. I just love how it works with my lashes. It doesn't let them look like all spidery and gross. They look very natural and full. And I think that's a really nice, really nice thing about a mascara. This one is definitely one of my favorites in a long, long, long time. Makeup wise, I also have this Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick in the color Stevie. That I don't know if it's a reference to Stevie Nicks, but if it is, extra points. Extra points to Anastasia Beverly Hills. Anyway, this is a beautiful kind of burgundy color as you can see and it's the lipstick I'm wearing right now I think it feels lovely with this jumper and uh, it's very velvety it's very smooth it doesn't dry up your lips which is so good I'm so tired of having my lips all dried because of this big massive trend of matte lipsticks don't get me wrong I do love my lap matte lipsticks but for a change, using a very velvety lipstick is, is good, it feels good. So thanks Anastasia, thanks for Stevie, I really like this one. I hope it's about Stevie Nicks, you know. I hope it's a reference. One of the things I've been loving and raving about is this argan oil that is full of airs. <laughs> this is just a tiny little bottle, as you can see, and uh, with a really thick argan oil inside. I got this one at Home Bargains, and I think it was not even a quid. I think it was like 80 p's or something, which is insane, because uh, my hair does look way much better with this one. Uh, I just apply it directly on my wet hair, or when it's not wet, when it's dry, I don't know, I wear it all the time. My hair looks way more shiny nowadays because of this tiny little bottle of argan oil. As I said, I got it at Home Bargains, so... <laughs> I am a fan of Home Bargains, I am not scared, afraid to say that out loud for the world. Home bargain. Then I have here this body moisturizer. This one's from Boticario that I don't know if you have this in the UK. I know my Portuguese followers really like Boticario because we are Portuguese girls and Brazilian. We are obsessed over this brand. This is the Nativa Spa uh, Ameixa Negra. What's the translation? Black this is a black plum body body moisturizer with quinoa um, drops and uh, oh my god it is translated it says black plum here and I've been looking online how to translate black plum anyway this is so good it says a little, little bit pump uh, and this leaves the, the skin so smooth and smells so so good it's like one of those smells that just it's just a lotion it's just a moisturizer but you can just use it as a perfume for how strong and lovely how strong and lovely it is it's really good i was i'm like obsessed with this one it just starts smelling like a lovely rich and fruity black plum in and i think it goes with the halloween theme as well so really good boticario you just Enough about beauty, now let's get to fashion, shall we? One of my big, big favorites of the month are these new look boots. Look at them. Mm-hmm. Um, are they cool, aren't they? 
haha <laughs> I love them they have this little heel they have like this you know these gemstones and they are Chelsea boots they are white fit but I don't think they're white fit at all usually I don't like to buy white fit boots because they look like bags on my feet but these ones fit perfectly and they are so so beautiful I love the 70s vibes about them I'm going to just do all one of these the boots I wear need to have a little bit of a heel or else I don't feel that comfortable I don't know I think it makes me look you know more sassy and more comfortable even these ones have just just the enough uh, size of heel they're not too big they're not too in your face but they are enough just to give you that little whoop, you know that little lift if you are looking for nice comfy booties they are a bit of a statement I totally recommend these ones alright so the next fashion item that I have here it was a year ago that I got them and I never wore them that much until now uh, which are these uh, black kind of washed black jeans a little bit cropped and uh, they are a bit high waisted as well as you can see and they are as you can see in the end like flared they are flared cropped jeans and they are a bit tore you know like like you know like somebody somebody just came and just <laughs> ripped them and I love this to death this is something as the boots I uh, probably I wouldn't like in the past but nowadays I'm really into the 70s. I was in Scotland and I told my mom, Mom, please send me those jeans, I'm feeling them. And she just sent them in a package to Scotland when I was living there. And I've been wearing and I've been using these jeans and living in these jeans ever since. I'm going to post her outfit with them in my blog. So if you want to see how they look, just make sure to go uh, to my blog that I'm going to leave the link below and just make sure you just follow me there because I'll be posting a lot of outfit pictures there. Next thing I have here is also fashion. Uh, it is this necklace. I love these like tiny, you know, very cute simple uh, necklaces this is only the only kind of necklaces I wear and this one is from ASOS I got this on sale they have this design a little you know that it's very in right now with a flower then they have like a lucky hand and then a horseshoe that is good for luck this is so so nice this is so dainty and smooth and ladylike you know I love it I recommend it. That's all for beauty and fashion. Now let's get to some more practical things. I have one homeware thing here to show you, which is <laughs> ah, this candle over here, you know. This one was given to me uh, some months ago, already in summer, by my friend Daniela, but uh, I haven't been able to use it and to smell it properly because I didn't take it with me to Scotland. I got back to Portugal I just saw oh my god my candle it smells lovely just just smells lovely I don't even have to light it. I'm going to light this candle when I finally have my life together. Nevertheless this has been one of my favorites of the month. I always have it next to me. It's so nice and this is just so statement. Thank you so much Daniela. This is one of my favorites of October's for sure. Another thing that was given to me as a gift that I've been loving so much is this book by Harlan Gross. This is a almost adulting and trust me, I need this. I'm 28 and I don't feel like I'm an adult yet. I feel like I'm a kiddo trying to figure life out. And this one's so good. This is the book I can read it every night before going to bed. She's, she's very relatable as well. There's this thing over here in the book that I liked specifically. There are the top tips for not giving a shit. And this is basically all I need in my life is not to give a shit. Because I'm always worrying about what people might think of me, even YouTubing, you know. I'm scared to share my YouTube videos on my social media uh, where everybody that I know follows me because I'm afraid of being judged. Why just not give a shit like Harlan Rose tells me to do? Just do whatever it is that you're second guessing unless the thing you are contemplating is doing math. Don't do math. This was my friend's Hello Math gift uh, from some time ago and she sent me this mystery box, this book 
was in there and I've been loving this so much and I highly, highly recommend this one. And I think that's that. No, it's not that, because there's more things. Favorite film of October? Hereditary. Ah. So you cannot just go do uh, October's favorite without mentioning a nice horror film. And I think Hereditary is definitely one of the most amazing uh, horror films I've seen in a long time. I just cannot stop thinking about that and uh, about the... You know, you know what I mean. If you've seen the film, I know you, I know you got scared just with this sound. Right? If you're not, if you haven't watched this film, I'm not going to spoil anything. I'm just going to say, go watch it. It's really, really good. If you don't like scary movies, just forget about that. Just go watch it. It's really good. Favorite YouTube channel? I'm sorry, but this is, I think this is the YouTube channel that everybody has been loving lately. Everybody has been obsessed about it. It's Shane Dawson's videos about Jake Paul. Every time a new Jake Paul video would come up online by Shane, I would be like, just stop everything. This new series made by Shane about Jake Paul have been so good they're like a series you know it's like making a murderer kind of thing and i'm obsessed over shane in general i think he's such a funny guy and i just laugh a lot he's not cringy and most youtubers are cringy and i am probably cringy i am aware of that shane dawson is the king of youtube and with that comes six figures i was only four has my favorite music Okay, now I'm just kidding over there. But my favorite song of October has been doo -doo -doo -doo, Venice Bitch. Lana Del Rey is going to release a new album and with that she already released Venice Bitch and Mariner's Apartment Complex that I've been loving as well. I'm going to pick Venice Bitch as my favorite song of October because I've been listening to that in loop like all the time. And I think that's all. I think I think I have nothing else here to show you for this month's favorite. I think it's already a pretty long list. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you just like my videos, comment down below and follow me on my blog because I'll be posting outfit photos from that one over there. So I really hope you like it and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.